Hello friends. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. This is such an exciting time to be a part of the body of Christ. This week at corporate prayer, the Lord spoke just a, a powerful, challenging word to me. And when I started thinking on this, it was just very provoking to me. And, and I, as I leaned into the Lord, the, the Lord started speaking to me and just stretching me to move forward and then also to release this word. You know, there's a lot of times when I talk to different people about what they're called to do. And a lot of times people will say, Joe, I, I know my dreams. I know my purpose, my calling. I, I, I know what my gifts and my talents are and I'm moving forward in them. But I just need, I need a little more direction from the Lord. I need a little more instruction. And, and so as I was praying, I heard the, the Lord so plainly speak to me. And he said, uninformed to informed. And then the Lord just started just unraveling this word to me and started showing me, you know, could you imagine like a 500 piece puzzle and somebody was looking at the puzzle, but there was 20, 25 pieces missing right in the middle. You couldn't tell what the puzzle was, but every time you put a puzzle piece down, the picture starts to make sense. And I feel what the Lord was saying is there's a lot of people who may have 75, 80% of their direction set before them, but they need a little more information recently. When I've been fasting, the main things I pray for is I say, God, I pray and declare that you will give me just key pieces of insight, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for the road that you have before me. To step further into the call and the purpose that you have for me, God, that you're going to give me that key piece of insight. And what the Lord was showing me is that some people are uninformed for a reason, because if you were informed, you would fully step out. But when the Kairos time hits, and it is the time for you to move forward, and your character matches your gifts, your talents, and your ability. See, your gifts and talents and abilities are natural, but when your character matches your gifts, talents, and ability, then the timing of God happens. Then the areas that you were uninformed God will give you information. You will become informed. I can't tell you how many times I've been in the place of prayer and God will drop a prophetic word. It might be one, one word, one simple word, one key instruction, one piece of insight. And I think, wow, how come I didn't think of that? You know, it's because now is the time to move forward. I know when my wife and I started our housing business and I would find four or five houses that I wanted to build, but financially I, I couldn't build but one or two at a time. I couldn't buy but one or two at a time. And I would say, God, you know, I've got these five prospects. Show me the one to go after. And when God would put it in my spirit, I would go for it. You, you know, there's times that, that I'm, I'm looking at where I'm supposed to go minister and, and I have invitations and I'm like, God, which invitations do you want me to take? When the Lord speaks to me, I move forward on that. And so, ladies, now I'm not talking about when you're shoe shopping and you're shopping. You're like, God, all 10 pair of these shoes or these stilettos are crying out to me, Lord, which one? You know, sometimes just walk away. Just kidding, but serious. You know, and so when we're, we're praying, we're, we're focusing. I don't know about you, but I live my life leaning in. I live, I live my life leaning into the things of God. I'm ready to run for the things of the Lord. But there's times that I'm running into the things of the Lord and I see the, the, the big picture. I see my dreams, my destiny, my purpose. I see it. My wife's got vision board. I got a vision board and I'm ready. But I'm like, God, I need one key piece of insight, of wisdom to just move in. And the thing is, you need to be ready. You know, the Bible talks about in Matthew 7 and 7, it, it talks about when you knock, it will be open, seek and you will find, you know, I'm talking about when you're knocking, you're leaning into the Lord. So when the door opens, you're already in a position to move forward. Most people knock on the door. When the door opens, they're standing straight up. They're not in a position to go through the door. But when you're knocking on the door, you're actually leaning in. So when the door opens, you can move forward. I'm telling you, my friends, some of you have been crying out to God because you see everything that he has for you. He's already spoken to you prophetically. You feel it in your spirit. You see it in your mind. You know it in your soul. And you're thinking, God, when is it going to happen? The Lord is about to drop that key insight on you to move forward. Now, 
Your responsibility is to work on your character, to make sure your foundation with God is good because when he drops this key wisdom, this key insight on you, then you will be ready to move forward. And I felt so encouraged by Holy Spirit this morning as he was telling me that you, this is the time to release this word because wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and key insight is coming from the Lord. And he is going to pour out his spirit the wind of the spirit is going to hit. And just recently, my wife and I, on one of our coffee dates, we were like, man, we have so many things in our life right now that are going good, are going good. And we have so many ministries that are going good. I mean, our church is good. Our apostolic network is going really good. Travel ministry is good. We're both writing numerous books. That's good. Everything is good. But we know Holy Spirit is about to blow his wind and his power of favor and blessing upon one of those. Hey, he can blow it on all of them at the same time. Ain't nobody going to be mad about that, you know, but he's about to blow on something. And, I, and in my life, you know, we have about seven or eight different ministries. He will blow on one and we will put all of our effort towards that for a season. You know, maintain the other ones and they're moving forward. But there's a lot of times that God will just blow on something. I know my wife and I, we, we, we put our life out. We, we talk about our marriage, our parenting, our, our finances, our health. But sometimes we will focus in on our health and we'll feel the Lord behind that. I hope this is making sense to you. You know, a lot of people like to focus on their gifts, talents, and abilities. And that's good. But I'm concerned with your weakness. Because if God can deal with your weakness, he can, he can sustain you for a long period of time. You know, if somebody, I told a guy recently, he said, man, I'm called to, to preach and to do all these things and travel. And I'm like, that's great, bro, but your health is horrible. How are you going to maintain that lifestyle when your health is horrible? You know, I, somebody recently told me that they want to go into full-time ministry. They had all their dreams and aspirations. And I'm like, you can't even pay your personal bills. We know your aspirations, but you have to make sure that your weaknesses are become strong. You have to allow the Lord to strengthen those areas. So areas in your life, areas in your life where you feel uninformed, this is going to be the season that Holy Spirit is going to give you key insight that you will become informed on those. So get ready. The Lord is about to strengthen you and he's about to do some very powerful, powerful things in your life. And every time you go to prayer, Take you a journal and a pen and, and right before you start praying, say, God, here I am. I'm ready and I'm listening. Speak to me. And whatever you speak to me, Lord, I will listen to you and I will obey and I will move forward in that. I hope this word encouraged you. I hope it strengthened you to move forward and do all that God has called you to do.